Until now, the most controversial aspect of Morris Brown's football program was its coach, Lambert Reese, whose strict training method is designed to keep the players in line, on and off the field. Now, three players are in jail. Freshman split end Troy Smith, sophomore split end Eric Perdue, and sophomore defenseman Timothy Hardy. They all lived in Gaines Hall, the male athlete's dorm at the all-black college. No women allowed. The student who claims she was raped last Sunday admits she broke the rule to study in one of the players' rooms. There, according to police, the sophomore co-ed screams were muffled with a pillow as the three players allegedly raped her. Today in municipal court, the player's defense attorney said he would confer with their parents before deciding to seek bond and automatically move the case to superior court. College officials said they would have no comment until the case has been heard. They are concerned that justice be done because so much is at stake for the young men. If convicted, they could go to prison for anywhere from one year to life. Will they be suspended from the team until this is all worked out? No comments. We don't even play this week anymore. No comments, period. Police say it has been very difficult to get anyone from the dormitory to testify on behalf of the victim in this case. So for now, the key witness is the victim herself. She and her family claim that they have been under pressure to drop the whole thing. Police won't comment on that, nor on any reports that there has been pressure brought to bear in the case. They say if any such attempts were made, they will be part of the evidence presented in court. At Municipal Court at Atlanta Police Headquarters, Terry Anzer, Action News.